There are a number of uses for vinegar in the garden. Because vinegar is versatile, it can be used in many different situations. Today, we'll take a look at eight of them. One, organic weed killer. Weed killers can be expensive and very bad for the environment. Getting rid of stubborn weeds isn't easy. Some weed killers, however, can quickly kill the offending plant and everything else around it. Fortunately, white vinegar can make a cheap and easy weed killer. Start by mixing around a gallon of white vinegar with one cup of salt and a few tablespoons of dish soap. Stir well until all the salt is dissolved, then you can add the mixture to a spray bottle. It's wise to be careful when spraying vinegar around certain delicate plants as they can suffer from too much distilled vinegar. However, a few applications of your new weed killer can shrivel those weeds right up. 2. Fruit Fly Repellent You can use vinegar in the garden to create a tempting trap for fruit flies. The only way to keep these little beasts away from your fruits and veggies is to trap them. You can do this by mixing apple cider vinegar and dish soap. Put the mixture in a pot that the fruit flies won't easily climb out of. Attracted to the scent of vinegar, fruit flies will climb into the pot and get stuck in the dish soap. 3. Ant Repellent Few things can ruin a nice sunny day in the garden than a horde of marauding ants. Fortunately, ants hate the smell of vinegar. Mix up a spray bottle with a cup of water and one cup of white vinegar. To get rid of the ants, spray the mixture directly onto the little critters. You can also use this white vinegar mixture as a deterrent. Spray the vinegar mixture anywhere in your house and garden that ants are gathering, and this should help keep them away. As an added bonus, half a cup of white vinegar or apple cider vinegar can also get rid of slugs and snails. 4. Organic Cleaning Product White vinegar is a hugely popular cleaning product used in many kitchens and bathrooms. This is largely due to how effective it is, as well as how cheap, accessible, and easy to make it can be. You can use vinegar in the garden for cleaning purposes too. Cleaning terracotta and clay pots Terracotta and clay pots are best for potted plants. This is because the clay is more durable, allowing the soil to breathe. Clay pots are all porous, allowing for better drainage. However, clay also gets dirty in the garden and can be difficult to clean due to its absorbent nature. Use one part vinegar to two parts of warm water to make a cheap and easy spray cleaner for your clay and terracotta pots. Cleaning Rusty Garden Tools Cleaning rusty garden tools can be tricky. Start by thoroughly covering the tools with undiluted vinegar. Better yet, let the tools soak in vinegar. Let them sit for a few minutes or a little longer if you prefer. Then use a mixture of equal parts vinegar and water to spray and wipe down the tools. Cleaning Outdoor Furniture To spruce up your garden furniture for the summer seasons, using vinegar can help give it a good clean. Use a cloth soaked in vinegar to wipe down your outdoor furniture. This should clean rust away and add shine. Alternatively, use your trusty vinegar and water bottle to clean the garden furniture. Bird Baths Bird baths get dirty very quickly. Aside from looking unpleasant, dirty bird baths can pass on bacteria and infections to unsuspecting birds. Cleaning out the bird bath is nobody's favorite chore, but a mixture of pure white vinegar and water can get rid of stains and keep your bird bath looking fresh. Use this mixture once a week. Staying on top of your bird bath maintenance will make the job much easier. 5. Flower Refresher one of the benefits of keeping a beautiful garden is that you can bring sweet-smelling bouquets of flowers inside to enjoy. However, these flowers begin to wilt very quickly. Surprisingly, you can use white vinegar to help your fresh flowers perk up. Take around half a gallon of water and mix it with two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons vinegar. Stir well. Put this mixture in a vase and place your flowers in the vase so that the cut part of the stems sits in the water. For best results, you should keep changing the mixture, ideally every few days. 6. Animal Repellent We all love wildlife, although possibly not when it's rampaging through our vegetable patch. Cats, dogs, raccoons, and rabbits are all lovely, but these animals can do a lot of damage to a lovingly tended garden. Soaking items in distilled white vinegar and placing them strategically around the perimeter of your garden can be a good way to keep animals away from your garden. Since most animals don't enjoy the smell of white vinegar, the smell works as a deterrent without causing any unnecessary distress 
or hardship on the animal. 7. Anti-mold spray White vinegar is also an effective fungicide. This means that you can use it to get rid of mold and fungus on your plants. Of course, you need to be careful as too much white vinegar can damage your plants themselves. Mix one cup of chamomile tea with two tablespoons of vinegar, mix well, and add the mixture to a bottle. Gently but thoroughly spray any affected plants with the mixture. It should kill the mold or fungus as well as any calcium buildup without hurting your plants. 8. Cleaning Fresh Vegetables Few things are more satisfying than eating your own homegrown vegetables. You've grown these veggies from seeds and you know that there are no harmful chemicals, herbicides, or pesticides on them. However, there could still be lingering bacteria on the vegetables. A quick rinse probably won't cut it. Fortunately, you can use white vinegar to clean your vegetables safely and organically too. Combine about a quart of water with a tablespoon or two of white vinegar. Wash your vegetables in the mixture, and if you don't like the vinegary taste, rinse them in clean water afterward. Many gardeners ask, will vinegar damage my plants? An avid gardener might worry about the effect vinegar would have on their greenery. After all, vinegar is acidic. Does that mean that it could hurt your plants just like it can kill weeds? Simply put, yes. However, white vinegar is less harmful than a chemical-rich herbicide or pesticide. It's an organic mixture, and so long as you're careful, your plant should be fine. Here are a few things you should avoid when using white vinegar in the garden and around your plants. Don't use undiluted vinegar in most cases. Follow the recipe given with recommended ingredients. Don't spray the solution directly on plant leaves and stems. Don't use a lot of vinegar regularly for a long period of time. Too much vinegar for too long will kill your plants. The best method of using vinegar is to mix it with warm water in a spray bottle. Then you can use the bottle to gently mist vinegar around the area. Pay attention to your plants. If you think your use of white vinegar in the garden is damaging them, it might be time to try something else in your garden. While using white vinegar isn't always a straightforward process, it's a vital ingredient to an organic garden. If you have small children or pets, vinegar is a much safer pesticide, herbicide, and fungicide than any chemical options. So what are you waiting for? Grab the vinegar bottle and get started. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on 15 amazing benefits of apple cider vinegar. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.